No, no, I'm not suggesting your hotel manager has a drink problem. Aye, I understand he's multilingual. Indeed, I am mightily impressed how he can slur in all five languages. No, no, I did not call your hotel manager a cunt to his face. Good grief, no. I spoke to him politely, smiled, and shook his hand. And then when his back was turned, and he was walking away from me, aye, then I called him a fucking cunt. It's British tradition. We're nothing if not hypocritical. Smile to their face, and call them a cunt behind their back. It's the proper way of doing things. If I want to use the word cunt, I will use it. That's part of my English heritage, is that? Or have we become so multiculturally, totalitarian, politically fuckwittingly correct that an Englishman cannot even use his own fucking cunting language? What do you mean I've been upsetting other guests? No, no, I would not have said that to a fellow guest. I merely suggested that he stopped dribbling his fucking nose into the breakfast buffet bar. I was standing behind him, watching his nose drip into the breakfast buffet bar. When I booked an all-inclusive holiday with you, I did not expect it to include influenza and norovirus. I could have sneezed and shut myself out at the same time. And if another old fucker, if another old bastard, blows his nose at the breakfast buffet bar, honking it from the very back of his nasal passage, as I'm about to break into my eggs and bacon, I'll... No, I like soup. It's just I expected soup with a hint of garlic, not a garlic bulb sitting in a bowl of hot water. I'm sorry if I've offended the local hotel staff. No, I did not come at the extreme use of garlic suggested a pathological fear of vampires. Yes, the local people are hairy, but I made no comment about werewolves. I'm the one making the customer complaint here. Pardon? Now listen, lad. I know that you're versed in the dark arts of customer relations, but take your tongue out of your boss's ass and start talking sense, you slippery-tongued ass creep. No, no, I will not tone down my language. Oh, but don't worry about me. I'm only the paying customer. Paying with that thing called money. That thing that is the result of work. You know work, lad. Do you know work? You're getting a full day's salary for sitting on your fat ass in an office with your tongue so far up your office boss's ass, you greasy-tongued ass toad. Pardon? When I get back to Britain with its fucking miserable rain and that bunch of useless self-serving fuckers that have ruled and ruined us over these last 35 years, I shall be writing you a stiff letter of complaint and demanding a full refund. Two words, lad. Two words best describe you. You are a total fucking fuck you and have a good day. And I'm sorry if I've offended the local hotel staff.